We're here at DVD 2018. I'm speaking with Ian Anderton, Managing Director, WFEL Limited. Ian, WFEL, um, probably best known for Medium Girder Bridge. That's been around for a, a number of years and it? it is in service with many armed forces. Yep. Um, is it still a current product? Mm. Uh, and if it is, has it evolved over time? Yeah, the MGB very much is the uh, the core product um, for many, many years of WFEL, as you mentioned, developed in conjunction with the MOD um, in the early 1970s. Uh, a very lightweight aluminium based bridge uh, that is uh, very versatile and is in use with um, circa 600 of these bridge systems have been sold over the years. And is it still in production? Very much so. Uh, we're just on the back end now of our Australian order. Um, and they took a, 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 an array of products from us, one of which has been the, the MGB system as well. And as you say, over the years we have added enhancements, uh, lots of operational um, additives, so it makes it easier for the squaddy to actually uh, use the bridge, carry the bridge and manipulate the bridge. And also uh, a number of methods to try and measure uh, remotely and locally uh, how often the bridge has been used and what type of wear and tear it's undergone as well, which helps us then predict when any maintenance or replenishment is, is needed. Uh, and then moving on from MGB, um, dry support bridge, that's a, that's a current product for, for WFEL. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a key product for us. We've now moved into uh, responding to customer requirements where they wanted less people involved in the bridge build itself. They wanted more people undercover. Um, they wanted it to be done in a much more rapid way. And so we moved into having a semi-automated system, which is the dry support bridge. Um, so this is a system that can go 46 metres in length, take up to uh, 100 tonnes in terms of weight. Um, so again, a very versatile bridge and really the only uh, bridge of its type that's been taken by uh, any army around the, uh, the world, around the globe uh, since 2003. So a really big success story for us um, and something that our, our customer base really, really appreciate. The, the, the primary user for, for the dry support bridge is the Americans, which, which I believe designated M18. How many, how many bridge sets have they had? Yeah, they've had over 100 bridge sets from us. So they've been our standout customer. Uh, they, they, uh, they sponsored the development through a competition which WFEL uh, obviously won um, in the early 2000s and so they helped develop the IPR that ended up into the, uh, the dry support bridge. Um, so they've not only taken the bridges themselves, they've also come back and we've added enhancements to give uh, the 46 metre um, extension to the bridge systems that they took. Um, and we're in constant conversations with uh, our US customers about what's next as well, uh, because the, the landscape continues to move, continues to evolve, um, and our partnerships with the likes of the US, Australia, the Swiss, um, are so important to us so that we can do things in conjunction together. Uh, and you mentioned Australia, Swiss, are there any other users of, of the dry support bridge? Yeah, Turkey um, have taken a number of bridges from us in the past as well. Um, but they're primarily the, the, the customers that I've mentioned there are the, the standout customers who uh, have taken DSP. That's new build product. WFEL are also involved, I understand, in the UK MOD's Project Tyro. Correct. Could you tell us a little bit about that? <clears throat> yeah, it's a really exciting opportunity for us. Um, so into 2019, we're expecting um, a request from the MOD, um, i.e. final bids. Um, which we're in the, the final uh, stages of, of pulling that together and that really is the UK MOD coming out now after a number of decades to upgrade and re replenish their bridging systems. So our Tyro offering um, is, is a very neat combination we think. So it involves on one hand for the general support bridge side the DSB offering which is the tried and tested bridging system that we've got and that can go on to a variety of different vehicles be they man vehicles, SISU vehicles, Oshkosh, um, any vehicle really we do the, the adaption for that and then the second part of Taro for us is in conjunction with our parent company KMW so their Laguan assault bridge that is uh, vehicle launched is our other offering within the Tyro um, portfolio really. So we've already done the assessment phase, so we've successfully transferred the technology required for us to make the Laguan bridge, um, which is a fantastic piece of, piece of kit. Again, um, rapidly deployed, 
Um, it allows the operators to stay, stay concealed within the unit itself with a hatch down, which is a big importance in, in current day modern combat warfare. Um, and so that combination we think is a, is a really good competitive offering for the UK MOD. Excellent. Thank you very much.